Welcome back, viewers. Let's, uh... Let's do this. Now, uh, this is the final boss rush. All RPGs generally have final boss rushes, but more importantly, for these, for this final boss rush, I'm actually going to make three runs of it. One's going to be my normal, just overpower everything run with knights, W summon, and mind materia. Then the second run is going to be a regular what you should do if you don't have the knights of the round table materia. And the third one is going to be a straight up no materia run of the final bosses. But more importantly, we are fighting the final form of Genova. Which at this point can easily... <laughs> actually all of the bosses at this point are easily taken out by knights, I mean, fuck's sake. I only have to mine I probably only have to mine knights once after this first initial summon goes through in order for me to beat Genova. It's an yeah, it, it, it knights are the abs the knights of the round summon is the absolute most powerful OP summon in the entire Final Fantasy history. Like, the, uh, the Mega Sisters and Final Fantasy X get up there, but it's not as OP as this. Sure, they do a fuck ton of damage, but no, not as much as these guys, and look at that. One, sh one freaking summon didn't even need the second, and Genova's already fucking down. <laughs> How many summons can you say can one-shot a final boss? Or one of the final bosses in the boss rush. So, now that Genova's down, shit hits the fan. And that was kind of a hilarious glitch. You saw how Sid's floor rose up past him, but then suddenly reappeared under him. Funny glitch. So now we fall further into the life stream. Looks like everyone gets a nice huge heaping helping of Mako poisoning. Aw yeah. A light at the end of the tunnel, this is. Is it holy? No. Somehow I doubt it's holy considering we're not at the ancient's place. No, that looks a hell of a lot like the tree that had Sephiroth in it. And somehow they ended up down here as well. Sephiroth. The real Sephiroth. Or so they try and make you think. This is yet another one of the one of Shef that one of Sephiroth's shadows, or clones, or whatever you want to call it. But uh... oh, stop complaining, Yuffie. I've got you at level ninety fucking nine. You can do this. Holy, holy, what, what, the, the holy, holy is there, the holy, what, what, you're making no sense, Cloud, no sense at all, you aren't even making dollars either, now, at this point, they're going to ask you to form two parties, and, of course, set up their equipment how you normally would, this also gives you a perfect chance to heal up, now, know what? Oops. There we go. I'm gonna do it without sadness. So I got my level 99, and another party of three, who I will give it to. Uh, you know what? I'm not a huge fan of Tifa, so let's give it to 
Barrett, Vincent, and Red 13. Oh, I think I have all of their ultimate weapons equipped. Yep, I do. And may as well give him max health as well. Which, by the way, as you can see, I've got most of the enemy skills learned on this file, but that is not very... Uh, not, 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 uh, not horribly imperative considering the big facts of, uh, the big facts that there is a, uh, this is my main god file, so it don't really fucking matter. And my two most hated are together. You know what? May as well. Um, by the way, Platinum Heart, or Premium Heart, or whatever heart, how that powers up is, um, fuck, or what is it? It powers up depending on what level, or how high your limit gauge is, times what level your limit gauge is. So I've got full limit gauge with level 4, so that's going to do significant damage. Okay, everybody, let's go. And whoever gets defaulted to the party of two will be knocked out of the running. Supposedly, if you use the Game Shark to get Eris, that way you can have a party of three at this point, you will be able to fight with all three parties, but in a but in this fight you will only be able to fight with the first two parties you set up which are the two parties of three what okay this is random I have never been able to have all three of the parties that I set up be able to fight all at once now then go on and just do my normal thing and there we go I'm set <laughs> Derp. Ooh, ow, that hurt. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, the first run, the one that I'm doing right now, is going to just be, just overpower his ass, take his ass out quickly. Second run, or the second, or the first uh, extra episode, maybe the second to last extra episode will be showing off how you fight him normally like without using Knights of the Round Table and miming it over and over again and the last extra episode will be the uh, will be showing off how or will be showing off just no materia equipped at all no HP plus no long range, no nothing. Which means, of course, Barrett can't be in my party because his missing source powers up depending on how much AP he has on the materia, so can't quite do that. And I've taken out a couple of his arms, but he's not dead quite yet. Yes, he's actually got five sections, or four sections that you need to destroy. His arms, his chest, and his head. Right arm, magic, left magic, those two are dead. Those are his arms. He can no longer use them. We can switch parties, but I don't know why I would, considering the second ultimate end will probably put an end to this form of the boss. I mean, hell, look at that. I've got just one section left that I can actually damage. The bottom section that's getting no damage is actually immune to all damage, magic and physical type. 
So all you got to do is just take out the four sections above it and there you go. I gotta say, actually, the first time I played this game, when I was a kid, and actually managed to get up to the final boss here, it, uh, for the life of me, I couldn't actually beat this guy. Like, for some, for some reason, I couldn't figure out that there were more than one sections to the boss. Like, I, I thought I only had to attack, or I don't, that the only, uh, <laughs> that there was only one section that you could attack, which was the one that takes no damage at all. So I couldn't figure out what the hell I was doing wrong. Now I know significantly differently, but more importantly, this boss form is over. Is it game over? Are we done? No. No, I don't think we're done. In fact, I really fucking love the theme for this final, or second to last final boss. Really fucking love it. Meet the One Winged Angel Boss. There he is. I want to get started with Double Knights. There we go. Safer Sephiroth is what he's called, but he's most most of the time he's only referred to as the One-Winged Angel. Which I actually don't understand why, considering the uh, considering the fact that the One Winged Angel theme actually appear appeared well before this. I think um, it was in whatever game Tefco was in. I could not remember which one. I I can't remember if it was five or six that Tefco appeared in, but Bigs and Wedge first appeared in Final Fantasy VI, uh, the One-Winged Angel appeared before this, so, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why people mostly refer to this guy as the One-Winged Angel when uh, there was uh, one way before this, whereas I guess Sephiroth is a lot more memorable than Kefka. Now, like I said, I will be showing off this guy doing a normal battle, because at this rate, he, I'm not, he's not going to be able to pull out most any of his attacks at all. Hell, I think if you Knight to the Round Table his ass, he won't be able to pull out his ultimate attack, and that uh, completely fucks everything. I accidentally had Sid attack. Oops. Oh well. So, other than this, there's actually not much left for me to uh, commentate on. Yeah, this game is just about over and I don't give my overall rating of the game until the credits. So let me let me uh let me think here viewers. Um other than uh let, let me think. other than the two boss runs that I'm gonna do or the two runs that I'm gonna do of the bosses of this final boss fight, I'm going to have to show off where where and how to get all of the enemy skills, and I'm going to have to do something else, something I'm forgetting about. I don't remember what it is, though. 
Oh well, I'll figure it out. At least three extra episodes. Um, both, or all three of them are going to be post-commentary because especially with the enemy skill, I'm going to have to do a bunch of editing. Because, uh, it, it's not as simple as run from one area, or it, it's not as simple as run from one area to the other, because, quite frankly, some of the enemy skills that you learn are actually fairly rare for the enemy that you learn them off of to appear. In fact, the only enemy skills that I'm missing on this file are the ones that take them forever to appear. More importantly, I'm going to have to end up using Sid to uh, create the next Knights of the Round Table summon because, oh well, I accidentally fucked up. But more importantly, like I said, if um, uh, this Sephiroth, he has an ultimate attack that deals pretty much, um, it brings you down to critical automatically, but more importantly, the annoying part about this boss guy is the, or the funny part about it is, if you kill him, like, if you take his health from... Uh, if, if he, he uses it whenever he hits a fourth of his health. So if you kill him before he hits a fourth of his health, like, in other words, if you use Knights of the Round Table and kill him past his fourth of his health mark, it will, uh, he will not use it. So I find that kind of funny. I can also throw coins, the maximum you can do is 60,000, or you can, yeah, the maximum you can throw is 600,000 gil, but it doesn't really matter at this point. And he's dead! Yeah, he only got one attack off. Haha! <laughs> Suck it. So, with that, are we finally finished with you, Sephiroth? The answer, of course, is no. It's no spoiler. I mean, hell, if people have seen Advent Children, they'll realize that apparently the only way that anyone can beat Sephiroth is if they use some form of the Omni Slash. Apparently. Like, both times Cloud has defeated Sephiroth, he's used a form of Omnislash. So, cutscenes. And after this, I'm gonna go make my fucking cheese dip. Oh my god, viewers, it's delicious. Oh. Mm -hmm. The thing about my cheese dip viewers is the fact that uh, it, uh, it it's hard to explain. Have, have you ever gotten like a little piece of a sour little piece of sour crystal stuck right on the side of your tongue and you're like, oh fuck yeah. It, it's kind of like that. Because it gets right up on the side of your tongue, and it, it's... Oh my god. Ugh. I love it, needless to say. And it took three years for me to perfect it. So needless to say... Not a good idea to suggest changing the recipe, because uh, that's three years of work, and I'd be pissed if you did. He's still here! Oh, Cloud's going nutso again. Lols. You're laughing. And apparently Cloud's spirit gets pulled away. 
it, this is more, or this also goes along the lines of my theories behind Sephiroth and how he manages to pull off all this crazy shit. But that'll be explained in the ex in one of the extra boss fight episodes that I'm going to do. Pretty cool, though. I mean, this... When I actually saw this FMV for the first time as a kid, I was like, holy shit! Because this is really fucking cool! Like, this is the best rendered scene that they did in the entire fucking game. All for the final fight. Sephiroth, let's end this. And at this point... It's... The Final Fantasy series started making it impossible to lose the absolute final boss fight. Like, this is the very end of the boss. And... yeah. Something to note, you can actually just sit there and wait for him to attack you, and that... I wanted to show that off. I'll show off the other way you can do him in by doing Omnislash. But yeah, you can just kinda... sit there. And, yeah. Because for some reason, even though I didn't have it equipped during the boss fight before this, you've got counter attack. But Sephiroth has been defeated. And we are stuck inside the live stream. Bugger. I'm thinking that, uh,. I'm going to go on and cut my commentary off fairly soon. Ah, you know what? No, not quite yet, because I've got, uh... Yes, it's the live stream. Because the scene actually goes on a little bit. Yeah. Ooh, whose hand is that? Eris, are you trying to grope me from the grave? Let's, oh, 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 no, I get... It's... It's, uh... It's Tifa. And <laughs> Cloud's like, oh shit, better get out of here. Jump for it, Cloud! Oh! Good grab. Yeah, somehow I doubt you're going to be able to pull both you and Tifa up with one arm. But this, this, these final two FMVs are absolutely fucking amazing. Fucking amazing, viewers. Like, I did not expect this when I first saw this, these FMVs. Did not expect it in the least. I was like, holy shit! Yep, they're still alive. But something of note, you noticed how both Yuffie and Vincent aren't there. That is because they're optional characters. And then, of course, there's Nanaki, who's got an awesome cut eye. And Sid. Oh, Lady Luck, don't fail me now. <laughs> Looks like she was listening. Because here comes the high wind. Oh, I remember. I also have to show off the, uh, what is it? The, um, the freaking limit breaks for everybody else. All I'm missing for showing off on Sid is dynamite, and the second thing in, uh, it's level 3 limit breaks. I don't remember what it is right off the bat. 
But more importantly, Sid is fond of his oh shit buttons. Because you notice how every time he yells out oh shit, something happens that changes things for the better. But, let's hope we killed Sephiroth in time and that meteor will go away now. I mean, obviously it's going to be like the moon in uh, Majora's Mask. Once we kill the main baddie, it's going to just disappear. Obviously. Oh, there's Marlene. Well, that certainly can't be good. Looks like we were way too late. Oh boy. Oh boy! Yeah. The shit's going down. I would have actually, like I said, really loved to have seen alternate endings for really any of the Final Fantasy games, depending on if you picked up certain characters or if you treated the final boss in a certain way, or, you know, all that kind of stuff. But, it looks like the live stream has come to help us. But it looks like the live stream is not enough. Bollocks! Well, we're fucked. Nice knowing you viewers. I guess we're, uh... I guess we fucked up. Oh well, we'll give it another shot next time. It's gonna get destroyed. Well, what do you suggest doing, man? Ser seriously. Seriously, what do you expect to do? Do you expect us to run the high wind right into the freaking meteor? Meteor has been approaching the planet for a while there, dude. Yeah, forget about your daughter. We gotta go find Holy. Which, like I said, the only reason why Yuffie, no, not Yuffie, Eris kept saying Holy is an absolutely useless materia is because quite Quite frankly, as far as I can tell, it's like all of the old, other ultimate magic materials, in the sense of uh, you don't get the ability to use it until you level it up once. So if it's it, it if you haven't leveled it at all, how do you expect to be able to use it? But more importantly, Foley has come to help us and the live stream. But the live stream already came to help us, so this is actually the holy. And people watch as the planet falls. I kind of want to see the PAL version of this game has uh, Marlene say bugger instead of it's coming. Because you notice how it, it just had one movement of the lips, and it, it, I, I, I just kind of hope that the PAL version, which is the European version of this game, has Marlene say bugger instead of it's coming. <sighs> well, here's hoping this will be enough. Because it's obvious that earlier both of Light's like, uh, that earlier pulse of life stream wasn't enough. Our life stream, that's what it is.
either Bug or a Bolix. That would be hilarious. Well, that's bright. Ah, God damn it, I thought we were through with you, bitch.